Hey there fellow gamers, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into the exciting world of Lord of Nazarick, the mobile game that's just dropped after a series of closed playtests. If you're scratching your head about which characters to recruit for your ultimate team, you're in the right place. We've put together a comprehensive tier list that ranks all the characters from best to worst so you can make the smartest choices for your gameplay. Whether you're looking to dominate in battles or just want a squad that looks cool, our tier list has got you covered. We'll break down the strengths and weaknesses of each character, making it super easy for you to decide who deserves a spot on your team. So grab your snacks, get comfy, and let's jump right into the best characters in Lord of Nazarick. Who knows, you might just find your new favorite hero along the way. I'm quickly moving on to the video and I'm ranking characters in Lord of Nazarick. Before we start, if you enjoy these types of tier list videos, don't forget to like the video and subscribe. Enjoy watching. My friends, only 0.1% of viewers subscribe. If you like this type of content, please do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you in advance for your support. The characters in this tier are, in order from top left to bottom right, Sebas. Alright folks, let's dive into one of the more unique characters in our D tier lineup, Sebas. Now, you might recognize him as the butler of the Great Tomb of Nazarick and one of the NPCs serving the Supreme 41. On the surface, Sebas seems pretty impressive. I mean, he's got the same level of authority as the Guardians and leads the combat maids of Pleiades. Pretty noble, right? But before you get too excited, let's break down why he lands himself here in the D tier. First off, let's talk about his combat skills. Sebas boasts some of the highest single target damage in the entire game. Seriously, his damage potential can rival some of the best. However, there's a catch, actually a few. To really make the most of his damage output, you need a very specific team composition. If you can't nail that down, good luck getting him to shine in battle. It's almost like he's got this amazing sports car that only works if you've got the right fuel. Otherwise, you're just stuck with a really expensive decoration. Now, don't get me wrong, Sebas has a noble character. He's all about helping the weak and standing tall against the odds. But in a game where utility and versatility are crucial, Sebas just doesn't cut it. He's kind of like that one friend who's really good at one game but struggles with everything else. You love having him around, but you wouldn't want to rely on him for your next big raid, right? So, if you're thinking about adding Sebas to your lineup, just remember, while he might be a solid choice for some high single target damage, the lack of overall utility and the difficulty in maximizing his potential means he's better left on the sidelines. At the end of the day, it's all about teamwork, and Sebas just isn't the MVP you're looking for in Lord of Nazarick. Keep an eye out for other characters that can really pull their weight. The characters in this tier are, in order from top left to bottom right, Demiurge. Alright folks, let's dive into the C tier characters of Lord of Nazarick. Now these guys have some interesting abilities, but let's be honest, they're not exactly game changers. Think of them as that friend who brings snacks to the party but forgets to bring the drinks. They have their moments, but you wouldn't want to rely on them too heavily. First up, we've got Demiurge. This guy is one of the NPCs who served the Supreme to 41 and acts as the guardian of the seventh floor of the Great Tomb of Nazarick. Now, don't let his status fool you. Demiurge is incredibly intelligent and has been a part of countless battle plans. He's got loyalty to Momonga down to a science, ready to throw down against anyone who dares to oppose his master, even if it's a supposed ally. Talk about dedication, right? But here's the kicker. While Demiurge packs a punch as a high damage mage, he says he says sage age. He leans heavily into that burn and stun playstyle. His skills can leave opponents sizzling, but there's a catch. He takes ages to ramp up and truly show what he can do. You'll need to invest a lot of time into leveling him up before he can hold his own in the main stages of the game. So, if you're looking for immediate impact, you might want to reconsider bringing him along for the ride. In a nutshell, Demiurge is a fun character with a unique vibe, but he's more of a slow burner. Pun intended. Sure, he has some niche uses, and if you're patient enough to level him up, he can shine in certain situations. Just remember, there are definitely better options out there that will get you quicker results. So, keep that in mind when you're planning your team composition. The characters in this tier are, in order from top left to bottom right, Albedo and Ains Ual Gaon. Alright folks, let's dive into the B tier characters from Lord of Nazarick. These characters are like that dependable friend who might not be the life of the party but always has your back, especially if you're just starting out. They're perfect for beginners and will help you get a feel for the game mechanics without overwhelming you. But hey, once you're ready to level up your gameplay, you'll definitely want to aim for some of those higher tier characters. 
First up, we have Albedo. Now, Albedo isn't just your average NPC. She's one of the key players serving under the Supreme for 41, the overseer of all the guardians at the Great Tomb of Nazarick. And let me tell you, she's stunning. Seriously, you can't help but admire her beauty. But here's where it gets interesting. Her character has been modified by Momonga, which adds a bit of a twist to her personality. This little detail can really influence your gameplay, making her a character you'll want to explore further. Next, let's talk about Ains Ualgaon, the big boss himself. He's not just any character, he's the leader of the guild named after him and rules over the Great Tomb of Nazarick. After the epic finale of the DMMORPG YGG Drasisul, he ends up transported to this isekai world in the form of a skeleton avatar. I mean, who doesn't love a good skeleton story, right? Ains brings a unique dynamic to the game with his strategic thinking and powerful abilities, making him a solid pick, especially if you enjoy a more tactical approach. So, if you're just getting your feet wet in Lord of Nazarick, consider adding Albedo and Ains to your roster. They might be in the B tier, but they pack enough punch to help you navigate through the game while you work your way up to those S tier heavyweights. Trust me, you'll be glad you did. The characters in this tier are, in order from top left to bottom right, Cassitus and Mare. Alright folks, let's dive into the A tier characters from the Lord of Nazarick. Now, I know what you're thinking, S tier characters are all the rage, but let me tell you, A tier characters are still fantastic choices that shouldn't be overlooked. They can hold their own in battle and are definitely worth considering for your lineup. First up, we have Cositus, the absolute beast of a guardian from the Great Tomb of Nazarick. This guy is no joke. Picture a bipedal insect with a warrior spirit, Cositus embodies the true essence of a fighter. What I love about him is his unwavering respect for his opponents, no matter their strength. If they have the heart of a warrior, he'll honor that. He's central to any bleeding team setup, and trust me, he's irreplaceable. Cositus can take a beating while dishing out some serious damage, especially with his ability to inflict continuous bleeding on his foes. The more they bleed, the more pain they feel. It's a brutal cycle that makes him a nightmare to face. Next, let's talk about Mare, the shy but powerful guardian of the sixth floor. Mare, with his striking heterochromatic pupils, is quite the character. He's got a unique fashion sense too, thanks to the player who created him. I mean, who wouldn't want to rock women's clothing, right? But don't let his timid demeanor fool you. This mage packs a punch with high explosive damage. Sure, he might not have the defensive prowess of some other characters, but if you don't have Evil Eye, Mare is a solid alternative. He can turn the tide of battle with his spells, even if he's a bit frightened most of the time. I think we can all relate to that feeling, right? Both Cassitus and Mar bring unique strengths to the table, making them essential picks for your team. Whether you need a tank who can soak up damage and deal it right back or a mage with explosive potential, these A-tier characters deliver. They might not be at the top of the list, but they're definitely capable of holding their own in any encounter. So don't sleep on them. You might just find that they become your go-to characters. In conclusion, if you're struggling to get your hands on those elusive S-tier characters, look no further than Cositus and Mir. They're not just good alternatives, they can be game changers in their own right. Remember, the key to victory often lies in the characters you connect with and how you use their unique abilities. So, gear up, strategize, and let these guardians help you conquer the challenges ahead. The characters in this tier are, in order from top left to bottom right, Shaltair and Aura. Alright, let's dive into the heart of Lord of Nazarick and check out the stellar S tier characters that will make your gaming experience so much more epic. Trust me, these characters are the cream of the crop, and having them on your team will seriously up your game. First up, we've got the amazing Shaltir. Now, Shaltir isn't just any character, she's one of the most formidable NPCs serving the Supreme 41. Picture this a vampire who looks like a young girl, guarding the first three floors of the Great Tomb of Nazarick. Pretty cool, right? What's even cooler is that she's the strongest among the Guardians in one-on-one -on -one battles. She's got a bit of a crush on Momonga, and that adds an interesting twist to her character. Even though she might not be as powerful as some other versions out there, she's still a fantastic choice. And the best part? You can snag her for free! With her ability to absorb life from enemies, Shaltir can heal herself without relying on healers. Plus, she's a crucial anti-cure unit in those early stages of the game. Talk about a win-win. Next up, let's talk about Aura. This lively guardian of the sixth floor is not only visually striking with her heterochromatic pupils, but also has a personality that shines just as bright. She's got a bit of a quirky edge, rocking men's clothing because, well, why not? 
Aura is an extrovert with a zest for life and you can really feel that energy when you're playing. But don't let her playful nature fool you, she's a powerhouse in battle. As a mono target character, she can remove advantages from her foes while also boosting her own stats. Imagine increasing critical damage and critical chance while taking down your enemies. Now that's what I call a game changer. What really sets both Shaltier and Aura apart is their unique abilities that can turn the tide of battle in your favor. Shaltier's life absorption skill means you can go toe to toe with tougher opponents without worrying too much about healing. And with Aura's knack for stat manipulation, you'll be dishing out serious damage while keeping your enemies on their toes. These characters aren't just great for their individual skills, they also synergize well together, making them an excellent duo for any player looking to dominate. So, whether you're just starting out or looking to refine your team composition, make sure you prioritize getting your hands on Shaltier and Aura. With them by your side, you'll be slicing through enemies and progressing through the game like a pro. These two are truly a must-have in any Lord of Nazarick lineup, and I can't recommend them enough. Remember, having the right characters can make all the difference in your gameplay experience. So gear up, grab Shaltir and Aura, and get ready to unleash some serious power in the Great Tomb of Nazarick. Happy gaming, and may your victories be plentiful. The video ends here. See you in another video. Don't forget to subscribe.